Hi there guys and welcome to another low dump episode. Okay, so do, um, before I start the episode, see I've got my wetsuit on finally, but we're not spear fishing today, but it is a very exciting episode. But before we get to that, we are going to um, remember to buy me a coffee. If you want to enter into an awesome competition to win one of these free diver guns, the one meter, it's going to be a one meter gun with a float, not a real, with a float and a float line as well. It's going to be up for grabs. You, all you have to do is be a subscriber and buy me a coffee. $5 get you into the competition. Thank you so much again to Shane. And thank you so much to everybody that has bought me coffees. There's been plenty of you. Thank you guys for really supporting me. And uh, we're getting there to get those twin 40s or 50s on the Gecko. The Gecko is being uh, revamped. It's getting a revamp. Um, so yeah, before we start the episode, let me explain to you what the difference is and why we're going to do this. I've always been wondering what is the difference between a single rubber, a double rubber, a roller and a roller with a kicker so that's four different type of guns that i've got so we're going to start off with a single rubber this is an open muzzle there you can see it's an open muzzle let me get the closed muzzle here as well up there you can see so that's a closed muzzle there you can see your spear can't go anywhere in the closed muzzle it's closed on the top and uh, this one is the open muzzle you can see it's open you use the line to pin it down okay so this is the one meter free divers open muzzle with a single band so that's the one that we're going to use this is a 18 band that he's got on so the one gun that we're going to test and uh, then we've got the double rubber that is 216 it's got on there the close muzzle um, and then we've got your roller okay this is my favorite gun that's the the roller with a kicker okay so i'm going to try and explain what the roller is okay so in a normal spear gun like this one the only tension that you actually get is when you tension it from here all the way to your spear. You quickly put that GoPro mount down and maybe you can see a little bit better what I'm explaining, what I'm trying to explain. If I use both hands. Okay, so what I'm saying is the only way, so you only have tension from there to there, we actually hook the spear in notch. Okay, so that is how much you've got there. But with a roller, you pre-tension the bottom ones. So this, these ones I'm going to tension. So you're already gaining that. So I'm going to pre-tension those. Up. Up. Okay, so you're getting, getting that. So that's pre-tension. So what I mean by pre-tension, it's actually going to start from here. So you're gaining that already, plus all the way from there, because there's two rollers there, all the way from there to there. So that's already that plus the whole one meter of a barrel and then I put the kicker on as well because it's a double notch spear then I put the kicker on as well so I'm gaining another let's say 60 centimeters so you're gaining you're getting 50 centimeters 60 centimeters and whole uh, meter of the barrel whereas with a gun like this you're only getting that 60 centimeters okay so we're gonna be testing these I've set up a little float um, in a swimming pool float with well uh, weight and we're going to be testing these and I'm going to take, be taking the average of, I'm going to do four or five shots with every gun. I'll show you the shots with the gun and then I'm going to be taking the average. And I'll show you the difference between a single rubber, a double rubber, a roller and a roller with a kicker. And I think it's going to be very interesting to see what actually happens at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy the episode. So the first one gun that I tested in the water was the one meter free divers with a 7.5 millimeter spear and a single 18 millimeter rubber on. So as you can see here, and you can see it later on this on the slow mos very little recoil because it's just the one rubber. Okay, so these were actually quite nice shots um, that, that we got through here. And I'm going to put a little graph in here to show you, um, according to the power to the four guns, what the power actually was. Um, so you, there you can see it's around about the 32 centimeters the first shot. 32.5. Um, yeah, I took four or five shots as soon as I saw that what the, the averages were lining up. If I saw one shot that was completely out of range, I scrapped that one um, and I tried to get like a, 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 a nice average of, of shots in there. So um, yeah, this one was shooting around about 34, 35 centimeters every single time that I shot it. Okay, so as you could see, that gun was shooting around about 
40 centimeters, between 35 and 40 centimeters. The first one was 32 centimeters, but after that, all of them were between 35 and 40 centimeters. Um, so, yeah, that gun gets a 37% out of the 100% because you'll see later on that the most powerful gun actually shot his average shoot um, his average distance and went through those uh, foam boards was 100 centimeters so that made it easy to compare all the other guns to um, to that gun so yeah that one gets 37 uh, percent out of um, the 100 percent that it could uh, what that was the most powerful gun okay so the second gun that we had was the 100 centimeter, the one meter free diver uh, with a 7.5 millimeter spear and two 16 millimeter rubbers. So on this one, you can actually see how um, the recoil. Check the recoil on my hand. You'll see it later on in the slow motion. You can see it even more. But this can actually surprise me with its power. I thought um, that it's not going to be that powerful. But all the shots were round about here in the 77 centimeters to the 80 centimeters, 81 centimeters. So this one gets an 80% rating because of that um, that power that it's got. Most of his shots was round about 80 centimeters. So that um, this one will get an 80% rating. Uh, according to its average centimeters that it went through but yo, look at that recoil on my hand you can clearly see my hand almost twisting and jerking very accurate um, all these shots were taken from four meters um, yeah very uh, precise on on the four meter mark there you can see again 81 centimeters um, very accurate around about the 77 to 81 centimeter mark so let's give this one a 80 percent 80 completely 77 so then we went over to the one meter uh, 75 um, this is the kicker only and the reason that I wanted to test this one is actually um, the story about the cracker so if you see this one didn't even go all the way through the flopper didn't even come out so if you remember this episode where I was doing my last dive and I didn't want to put the roller on I just put my kicker on and I just had like one little last dive and uh, now I understand fully why I could not go through this cracker um, you'll see now that I've only got my kicker on in this video and as I was lining up on the cracker it was a monster of a cracker you'll see it now there you can see the cracker and with only the kicker um, didn't go all the way through so the flopper didn't open on the other side and the spear pulled out so that's exactly what happened in the pool so the next gun we tested now was the roller without the kicker i was very curious to see um, how this what this was going to do uh, look at my hand there um, okay there you can see um, it's obviously a very nice shot as well but look at my hand and you can actually see if you if you check now again um, okay, so that's a uh, 73 centimeters on the first one but look at my hand you can actually see very little to no recoil on my hand as i pull the trigger so yeah that was very surprising to see how little recoil the, that one has um, and all these shots were also very nice shots so there you can see another one um, 67 centimeters so this one was all of the shots was around about a 70 centimeters um, so we'll give that one 70 percent and now this is the big boy the roller with the kicker and you can see it's got does have a little bit more of a kick but still a lot less kick than the double um, double band and look at the distance this one got I think the first shot was 95 centimeters or something like that yeah 94 centimeters and then the next shot was over 100 centimeters and then constantly hitting the 100 centimeters for the from there on so this is why this gun gun got the 100 percent this one got the 100 centimeter mark so yeah look at the recoil there you can see it's actually very little recoil even though you've got the kicker and the the, um, the normal roller on so yeah that was very really nice for me to see look at that one look at that spill that was the 105 centimeters one so you can clearly see that's got a lot more power um a lot less recoil on your hand um so yeah that is that is why i should wear that gun okay yeah i went into um all four the guns and the first shot is uh, full, uh normal speed then i've got a 50 percent and then i've got a 25 percent speed so yeah um there you can see the recoil um normal speed 50 percent and again 25 percent so you can see the four guns and if you rewind the video and check the recall man you can actually see the recall of the four different guns that i'm shooting 
um, and then it makes a huge difference. Check now the last, the last one, um, the slow motion on the recoil. Um, and then I've also got a little video at, after this one. I've got a little video where I show all four um, the web, the, the guns in in one clip. You can actually see the same thing on, on the recoil. You can compare them very nicely. So yeah, um, it was very surprising to see how little recoil the roller gun actually does have. And then can you also feel it in your in your hand? You can also feel there's a lot less recoil in your hand. Okay guys, so the episode is done and you could clearly see that the roller with a kicker is definitely your most powerful gun. But I was very surprised with how well the double rubber actually did. Coming in, in, in second place and obviously your single rubber coming in a third place. Okay guys, if you uh, remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment. What do you prefer? Single, double, roller, roller with kicker, inverted roller. We haven't tried the inverted roller. How did you guys like the slow-mos? When... Uh, from the recoil okay so but yeah remember guys buy me a coffee um help me help me get my twin motors on the gecko help me with the revamp of the big gecko and once again thank you so much to everybody that has been supporting us and i hope to see you in the water soon the weather has been absolutely terrible it's nice weather but the south easterly has been pumping so the water is dirty and cold so unfortunately no diving so we are some nice training in the pool see you guys soon <laughs>